なな,なあはあ、Found it What? Now listen up all you DIYers. Today I want you to pay attention because I have the number one tip when it comes to finding a timber stud. It's an absolute foolproof method. And remember, it's our little secret. So don't tell your mates. Anyway, let's duck inside and I'll show you what I mean. Now there's a number of methods that you can use to find a stud. You can use the old knocking on a wall trick. You can fork out $50 plus to get a half decent stud finder. Or you can even remove a power point because power points are attached to studs and they'll tell you where a stud is. Or you could do this. Go to your fridge and remove one of your fridge magnets. That, I believe, in my opinion, is the best stud finder you can get. Oh, and, it's a wedding photo, the wife, me, and some crazy photo bomber. Classic. This method is so good, I think it deserves its own drum roll. Yeah! Alrighty. We have a magnet. We have drywall or plasterboard that is attached to timber studs using metal fasteners. Uh -huh, let me see. Magnets, metal fasteners, magnetic attraction. Bingo, we have lift off. Now all you have to do is get yourself a bit of painter's tape. I like to use painter's tape because it's a little bit stiffer than normal tapes. You don't have to, but that's just what I like to use. A length of string, about a metre long, like that, and a washer, and I'll show you what to do with these. The first thing you need to do is attach your washer to your string. Once you've done that, grab some blue tack and just attach this string to the magnet. Just like that. Make sure it's in the center of the magnet. Like that, there we go. And then put your magnet on top of your tape, like that, and wrap it around, just like that. And what this does is, this is now my, my handle for holding the magnet. Now let's go to that wall and find those studs. So there we have it. There's your homemade stud finder. Now all we need to do is rub this across the surface of the drywall or plasterboard and it'll pick up any metal fasteners and that's where our studs are. Let's give it a go. So run it across the wall like this. And there we are. It's found a stud. How easy is that? Absolutely foolproof. So once the magnet has found the fastener, it's found the stud, you let the string hang down, which is weighted by these washers, and that gives you the center line for the length of that stud. So you can nail anywhere along that line and you'll hit a solid stud. How good is that? And that's not all. Seriously, I should be selling steak knives. And the last thing that you can do with this amazing invention is if you know your stud centers, which are roughly uh, 450 for external walls here in Australia and around 600 millimeters for internal walls. And if you're in the States, I think it's um, 16 inches on center. Now on center means from the center of the stud to the center of the next stud. So if you know your centers, you can mark those on this string. And just turn the string around like that and bang, that's where your next stud is. Great tip, knackers! Oh yeah, like I promised, the best magnets to use for a homemade stud finder, you need a reasonably strong magnet. So what I use are magnets called rare earth magnets. 
This one here is about 25 millimeters in diameter and about five mil thick. And they'll cost you around about 10 bucks, something like that. Or you could even vandalize an old uh, hard drive you got floating around the house and they have um, rare earth magnets in there. There you go, freebie, even better. So there you have it. How to find a timber stud using a homemade stud finder. How cool is that? Now, if you thought this video was useful, or if you just like to keep up to date with all the latest videos, please subscribe to my channel. The button's down there. Thumbs up, the button's down there. Share and comment. It'll be all greatly appreciated. And stay tuned for video six coming up shortly. So, till then, cheers. Thank you.